Hi, my name is Sean Cabinet. I'm a PhD student joined between the groups of David Scanlon at UCL and Aaron Walsh at Imperial, and my research is focused on emerging solid state photovoltaic materials. So this work focused on the emerging material class of double perovskites, which are non-toxic, solution processable, air stable, and have demonstrated long charge carrier lifetimes. Unfortunately, however, most double perovskites exhibit large electronic band gaps, which prohibit their use in most photovoltaic or photocatalytic devices. As such, our experimental collaborators were delighted to find that alloying two of these double perovskites produce band gaps lower um, than that of either pure material. And so we began an investigation of the electronic structure of these materials in order to elucidate the physical origin of this uh, extreme band gap bone behavior. From these calculations, we revealed this type two staggered um, band gap alignment uh, with both the conduction and band span edges of the antimony double perovskite located higher in energy than that of the bismuth material. And this was later confirmed by extra photo emission experiments shown here. The electronic band alignment uh, shown here facilitates nonlinear orbital mixing in the alloy material, resulting in an antimony dominated BBM and a uh, bismuth dominated CBM, such that the alloy exhibits a smaller band gap than that of either pure material. The main conclusions from this work were that a type two staggered band alignment alongside chemical similarity of the materials were the origin of non-monotonic bowing in um, this double perovskite alloy system. Moreover, we propose that this presents a novel strategy to reducing the band gaps of other perovskite inspired materials so that they may be more suitable for the majority of optoelectronic applications. If you're inter interested in this work, please check out our papers on this and other perovskite inspired materials 